Hello class, um, good evening. So uh, what I'm gonna have you guys work on tonight is just the um, Putnam um, exercises four through seven. So I'm gonna guide you through it on the video. Um, you don't have to use this video, but if you need to, if something's unclear, you're welcome to uh, check out the video. Um, so what tonight is about is um, running what they call cross tabs. So looking at correlations between two variables. Um, so the first thing you're going to be doing is learning how to um, just run and interpret a cross tab with two variables. So we're going to be going to that screen. You saw I had clicked the little link for learn. Okay. So you're going to be exploring uh, various hypotheses about what may have caused um, the decline in civic engagement. So again, the civic engagement is your dependent variable, and you're looking at potential hypotheses around independent variables. In this case, we're looking at city size as an independent variable. Okay, I paused it. So in this case, we're going to be looking at um, how city size affects um, involvement in community projects. So we're going to open that DDB database. Mom, what else am I putting in the cross pot? So the first thing we have to do is recode our variable. So you go to create variable, recode, the name of the new variable, we give it the name that it had before and then your initials. We don't want to replace it. The variable that we're using is com project. Um, and we're make, creating a dummy variable, 0, 1. No involvement. Okay, here our value is zero. I um, looked up the variable right here. I clicked on um, community project. It put it up there. I clicked on view. And that's no involvement. And then the one is going to signify one or more times in the last year. And that's the two through seven. So here you should see community project, your new variable, as the output, and then the input is your community project, the original variable. And you can see here the number of cases. We had uh, some missing cases previously as well, so that number looks right. So we've got our recoded variable there. Now we go back to analysis. So you want to click on analysis and you want to click run frequency or cross tabulations. Under row, you're going to put your new variable, comproj, and I added my initials to mine, so that is my new variable. Under column, we are going to do city size. Then we want a bar chart, horizontal. So now we, um, we're ready to run this. Uh, the title, we're going to do um, Community Projects by City Size, and I'm going to run the table. And you see here, that it gives you the differences by city size. So here you see um, a pretty significant difference with no involvement in rural and towns under 50,000 people, 
with a 40% one or more times. But then you continue to look at non-central city, central city, non-central city. So the percentage of non-involvement actually is much higher. And the percentage of involvement one or more times is lower. So it does appear that there is a relationship between city size and involvement. And so again, you can see this little code down here with the blue and a little bit of a darker blue telling you that there that it's very likely that there is a statistically significant relationship here between city size and the level of involvement um, you see that we've got some some quite a few darker blue squares and quite a few of the darker red squares and here's your chart that shows you this as well Okay, so this is this is what's called a correlation, looking at a correlation, the relationship between two, um, two variables. Um, okay. So now we're going to run the same table, but we're going to run it uh, using a selection filter. So we're going to run it by year. So we're going to compare the results for 1975 and for 1998. So you're going to look at two years specifically. This is what you would do. And um, we've done a selection filter for years for year before. We'll call this one 1975. You know, run that table. So let's keep that open here. See that Central City and 55,000. There's some relationship that's not as strong on cities as you saw previously. Let's look at the difference from 1995. Let's see what happened in, um, in 98. So now I put 98 in the run this table. Let's look at non city um, per million. We've got C4 cent on and it's pretty significant um, compared to our table. Our 195 number for non city really gone that 74 is a dark, a much more can't relate it between side involvement and um, 1990 compared to 175. So that's use like this. you want to look see what pinned, but you want to pair the dies down, what these guys are like. Look in this chart, some of the more relationships, the blues and the red, where um, look there may be significant um, relationship between cities and love involvement. For your questions for tonight, you're going to be doing the same thing, but you're going to be doing looking at volunteer work, and you're going to city size the impact of city size on volunteer work, and your selection filter, your control variable, is um, is going to be work status or employment, and so you want to look at, um, and what the control variable means is that you're trying to control for um, other other variables that could potentially be impacting the relationship between the two variables that you're looking at, right? So you want to control for them. So you're saying if you take this variable out, you're controlling for this variable. Now what does this do to the relationship between city size and, um, and participation, civic um, participation? So in order to do this, again, remember, you're going to go to Create Variables, Recode Variables. So the first thing you want to do is recode the volunteer variable. Okay, so you're going to be putting in your new, your new variable with your initials, the old variable here, the new values that you want, the 0 and the 1 the label, and here's the variable right here, so if you wanted to actually take a look at what the coding was, you make sure you have the numbers correctly, you would click on the variable that puts it up here. You click on view, and this gives you your code book so that you can see, okay, the one is none times, and then the other variables are the two through seven.
Okay. So the one, one is a seven one or variable. Okay. Once you're in there, you're ready. Click on assist, run seer tab. Remember, oh, you want to vary on. Um, call is cities because we're interested in this relay between size. Okay, and your action here is going to be, um, okay, in this case, we're going to use the um, control variable here before we used a selection filter because we were trying to select uh, a particular um, within a variable. We were selecting, for example, one year out of the variable year. In this case, we're selecting a variable as our control variable. And uh, we're looking at um, work status. It's right here. So we're going to put that variable EMPLMRG3 in the control. And again, we want a bar chart horizontal. And give this your title. So this is uh, volunteering by city size controlling for employment. So again, controlling means that you're trying to eliminate the possibility that another variable is affecting this relationship. So we want to make sure that employment, that we're not looking at how employment is affecting this relationship. We're just looking at volunteering by city size. So now we run the table. And here are the um, results that you get. So here we have full-time status. So this is what this looks like for people who are working full-time status. This is part-time and self-employed, not employed, retired, and maker. And this is all the So you, you can chart could compare in the results for different um, levels of employment. So now we've run the two different types of analysis that we would need to run in order to answer um, question um, your question four, which is on volunteer work and city size, um, and then question six, which again is a volunteer work and city size, but now we're comp controlling for employment. If you uh, need any assistance while you're working on this or it's not clear, feel free to send me an email. I will be available this evening um, by email, okay? And I'll also post a very brief lecture about correlations.